Some of the tackles that went in in the second half I was pretty disappointed about. Victory beat the Jets by a solitary, controversial goal. Replays suggested that James Donachi was offside when he headed back Leroy George's cross for Costa Barbaras's to shoot past Jets keeper Glenn Moss inside the first 10 minutes. VAR, introduced this season to a welter of continuing criticism, did not disallow the goal. The FFA announced on Sunday that the video assistant referee had not had access to all the Kamer uncles due to a software malfunction. On Saturday night, Merrick had questioned the decision, I just don't get this VAR stuff yet, and I am a fan of it, Merrick said, they won, it looked to me like it was an offside but the VAR must have said it was onside, maybe it wasn't late and enough. I don't know about that goal, it looked to me like there were three players offside, I have spoken to four or five people already and they all said the same thing, I don't want to be a sore loser, but if that goal was offside I just wonder what the point of the VAR is, I am still a fan of the VAR but I am not sure if he looked at that in replay, when the ball was kicked, it looked like there were three players offside. What's the point of the VAR if you are not going to pay attention to it, and of course once they went a goal ahead that was it, very stop start, drawn out. Not the best spectacle, but they won, after an entertaining first half when the Jets piled on the pressure and victory were only saved by the heroics of goalkeeper Lawrence Thomas, Muscat's men shut the game down, frustrated their opponents and ensured that the Jets could never get into a rhythm, much to Merrick's chagrin. Asked whether referee Jar Gillett had put the whistle away for too long in the game, Merrick was forthright, I thought the referee let far too much go. We were hoping for a free-flowing, enjoyable entertaining game of football and SP how much we tried to do it, it just kept breaking down, I don't know, we couldn't break them down in the second half, the referee let a lot go, there were a lot of fouls and free kicks, we dominated possession, we had twice as many shots, and we tried very hard to play football, we have done it all year and we have got into the grand final. It's a pity we couldn't have gone further but victory were the winners, despite his obvious disappointment, Merrick believes the Jets have set a solid platform to be competitive again next season, I think we have made enormous ground, we have really put ourselves on the A-League map, we are not a team that's easily beaten, we have won a lot of games, we have scored a lot of goals and every team in the league we have beaten at least once. It's a credit to them what they have achieved, I just think we can build on this team and we can be in the finals next year, he did not defend the brutal challenge of Jets forward Roy O'Donovan on Thomas, which saw the Irishman red carded late in the game. I know that you are not going to believe this but I didn't actually see it. It looked like he had a foot up on the goalkeeper, which is a send-off, but I didn't see it clearly but it is out of order if he did that. Michael Lynch Michael Lynch, the ages expert on soccer, has had extensive experience of high-level journalism in the UK and Australia. Michael has covered the Socceroos through Asia, Europe and South America in their past three World Cup campaigns. He has also reported on Grand Prix and top-class motorsport from Asia and Europe. He has won several national media awards for both sports and industry journalism.